Veo is all about looking at what manufacturing should be in the future. Automation is incredibly expensive and we build products today faster than ever. We introduce new products all the time. If you wanted to make a factory that builds the same thing forever, fine, you can automate it end to end. But if you wanna build a factory that is gonna make not just the products that we have today, but the products we're gonna design next week and next year, then the most important thing about your manufacturing environment is that it's adaptable and flexible. What we do is we make it so that robots can be perceptive and intelligent, aware of their surroundings and work with people and ultimately create a manufacturing environment that is flexible and is adaptable to ever-changing needs of products that people design today. You work with a number of different arms, ABC, yeah. FANUC. What is your product? What are you actually sort of, of producing course. in that ecosystem? Yeah, so what we build is a sensing and intelligence system. We build sensors and a computing platform that takes the data from those sensors, talks to the robot, and essentially creates a model, a higher level model of what's going on in the work cell. Because the robot arms that you were mentioning, FANUC, ABB, KUKA, Yaskawa, the arms that they build are incredible pieces of machinery but they don't have intelligence and awareness. They're gonna move from point A to point B along a predetermined path. They're gonna do it exactly the same way every time. That's incredibly valuable, but it also is limited and dangerous. That's why these robots are literally kept in cages in, in factories that people can't get close enough to get hurt. So what we do is, from my old, old days in sort of autonomous robotics, we always talk about robots being three things, you know, perception, intelligence, and actuation. So I say that we build two thirds of a robot. We build the perception and intelligence, um, and then we work with the arms to create the actuation. They, they, they build the, the physical robot itself. They build the physical robot, the, the low level the controls and path planning, and then we do the higher level sensing of what's happening in the work cell. So we physically build sensors and a big computer <laughs> that then connect up to the robot arm. When we think about a robot, we think the arm is the robot, but really it, the robot in this context is the work cell. It's a robotic system. It's a bunch of equipment working together to accomplish a task. So we provide the sensing and intelligence for that robotic system. What's the status of the, the company and the technology? Is this something that's actually out in the world um, right now? We have the product essentially in the design phase of creating a, a robotic work cell. Any robotic work cell, any process that happens in manufacturing is a custom design of essentially a machine made up of other machines that does a process step. Most of the time, the reason you want to use a robot in your factory is you need superhuman capability. You need strength or speed or precision that are beyond the capabilities of the human body. So what we do is we use perception to achieve that collaborative ability. We say, look, we're gonna have this robot that, you know, it could take you out, but we're gonna make sure yeah. it doesn't. We're gonna make sure it knows that you're there and knows what you're doing and interacts effectively with the people that are working alongside it.